Welcome to doing business with a servant's heart, doing business and life with a purpose, serving others, and also achieving success. I'm your host, Steve Ramona. We created this show for you because we want everyone to learn how to do business and life to make an impact in the world. I want you to think about how you serve today and what's the impact you'll make today. And I'm excited. I've got guests on that have been doing this for 38 years. So when anybody, somebody does it more than five years, you know they're an expert, no matter what anybody says, because they've experienced it. And they come with some really cool ideas that may be new to you, but really drop everything and listen and watch and learn from these two wonderful people. Gail and Gregory, welcome to the show. Thank you, Steve. It's a pleasure to be here. It is. Thank you. It's fun. Well, 38 years is a long time. I'm 62. That's more than half my life. <laughs> Why did you start this? Oh, gosh. You know, I think sometimes we don't always know what's going to be on our path, but something happens. And, you know, there's so many people who are well-educated and they are not following whatever they learned in college. They are doing something that came to them that seemed to be what was really in their heart, in their soul. And I have to say, that's what's so for, for both of us, really. And, you know, I think it comes from connecting on a level of just wanting to, like you've said, be in service, make a difference, have higher purpose, and be able to integrate some of the higher spiritual values into work. And when Greg and I met in 1985, everything came together and this just sort of evolved and has evolved over many years. I'm glad you said that because that's a great tip for listeners that have a business. You're not going to be the same today. You will from five years from now, from 10 years, and you guys are living proof of that. So Gregory, what is your mission and passion and desire for sacred geometry? Oh, we've just completed a book that's being actually introduced today. And uh, this is what it looks like. And it's the universal language of divine alignment. And so that's my passion is how the universe works and how we can understand it and bring it into our lives, the same rhythms, the same patterns, the same cycles, because there's so much going on in the world today that seems off. I mean, we're watching so much confusion, so much fear coming up, so much stress that people are going through, and problems with the toxins in the environment, the EMFs, things that are impinging upon our ability to operate at optimal levels of being. And so what we found is that by finding out how universe works, what the archetypes are, how certain things are created and follow patterns and rhythms and cycles, that if we understand those and bring those elements into our lives, sometimes physically with geometries like the ones beside me that are spinning and moving, and even the ones that we wear, by bringing that into our environment and around our body, we can shift the field of energy and the way we think and the way we intuit. All that aspect that we sometimes understand is important in business, you know, the mindfulness that allows us to see things from a higher level, to understand what we're going through internally on an emotional level, and how to communicate with others mentally and heartfully. These are all elements that start coming into play and into place when we ourselves find that rhythm that's being shown to us by the universe. Oh, I love what you're saying there. And, and for people in the podcast who aren't seeing this video, uh, it's called Sacred Geometry. 
it launched today and you know you podcasters will hear this a couple months down the road but on youtube you're going to see this right away and i noticed before in our green room the necklaces you're wearing the people on youtube are going to see what what's the symbol for those and what do they do uh you know the first thing is to talk about why we even wear them and that huh. is that they they perform something very important for us it's a service that it helps us be connected you know it's really something to be able to be in a place where you feel your intuition, you feel joy, you feel, I belong here. You know, whether you go out into a beautiful place in nature, you know how you can just relax and feel like you're all on. And so these help us with that. They help us feel more full and more capable and more able to express ourselves and be creative and also, even in relationships, they help us to be more present in our relationships. And so they're based on different kinds of sacred geometric designs with lots of different antenna systems that are inside of this little pendant. And these antenna systems are like helping to beam these connections so that we can have those relationships be more of a driver in our lives. Are they customized to each person? Or do we all wear this? So obviously we don't all wear the same. So what I was just flashing up on the screen, and for those that can see on YouTube, is what they look like close up. This is one style, the front and the back of one pendant. You see, each pendant has two sides because one side toward your body moves the energy down. So you're feeling more grounded, more connected to the earth, more connected to your heart center. And the other side is moving you up where it's a more mental um, situation, a stronger uh, mental focus. So when I was writing our book, I would have that side toward my body. It allowed me to access the information more easily. And so... There are so many things going on with this because what I was mentioning earlier, there are things going on in our environment today that disconnect us from the fullness of our being. Because you see, when we're talking and looking at each other, there's only about 10% of us that shows up here in this physical mm. 3D reality. There's a lot of unseen stuff, like your emotional body. That exists on a higher dimensional level. Your mental body, your soul, the psychological aspects of your being. There's so many things going on in the other 90% of us that escape our awareness. And that's part of mindfulness is moving into that higher awareness. But as Gail was saying, the more we bring the fullness of who we are to play every single moment of our day, the better we are at whatever it is we're playing. And business is just one aspect of how we love to play. You know, it's if I'm going to live in this world, I've got to find a way to sustain sustain myself, make money. And that's what business is about. And business isn't just about showing you how well you can do all the parameters of business. It's showing you how well you can do the parameters of your own being. What kind of a human being are you? How do you show up? How do you interact with others? How do you put forth what's really something that's true and valuable for other people because if you connect in with that inside your own being other people will get it and if yeah. you're just trying to sell them something they know that too they're going to go and we know this again and again and again people are going to follow their emotional body when it comes to making choices and if you can't fulfill that heart-centered perspective, 
they're going to go elsewhere until they find something that answers it for them. I love that. And feeling energy. I think, Gail, you mentioned that. It's a powerful combination of words that a lot of people don't realize it's there because it's invisible, but it's not super powerful. Explain mindfulness. I know that some of the audience or maybe all audience going, I've heard that. What is mindfulness and how does somebody try to achieve that? Well, I think one of the important things that all of us strive to do is to show up or a word that you may hear when you talk about mindfulness is be present, be present in the moment. <clears throat> because actually, you know, even though we might be thinking about what happened in the past or our emotionals, our emotional awareness is somewhere dragging us into something that happened when we were five years old with our one of our parents. What's really important is that life happens in the present moment. And yeah. that's really all we have. We could be here talking about the future and preparing for it. That's all important. However, showing up, being here right now, full on, is what it's really about. So to yeah. me, that's really what it means to be mindful, to be aware of what's happening, to be able to present yourself fully and completely, and also to hear the other person, to be aware of what that person is offering to you yeah. so that there can be a beautiful exchange or relationship. And that is really, to me, the essence of mindfulness. Now, people talk about mindfulness and they'll they'll speak about how to achieve it. Like it might be that meditation really helps, different practices. There's a lot of things that take us away from the distractions that happen in our everyday world and help us to become centered and balanced and be able to show up full on. Yeah, that's so well said. It's a great description of mindfulness. Now, a crazy question to me, and I didn't even want to know the answer. How are the sun and moon and earth related to sacred geometry? Uh, oh, oh. It's okay. a big one. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is take you over. These are some slides from our book. But if I show you something on one of the slides from our book, here you can see that certain platonic solids, there are five of them, tetrahedron, octahedron, dodecahedron, cube, icosahedron. And if you add up the number of degrees on their surface, you get the diameter of the sun, a different set gives you the diameter of the moon, and then a cube is equal to the diameter of the moon exactly. And then you do things like you can take the diameter of the moon plus the diameter of the earth, and this equals another geometry. Mm. And what's interesting is this geometry right here has a relationship to the diameter of the earth and the diameter of the moon. And then furthermore, it has a relationship to what I'm going to show you now, all of these spirals that show up in a nautilus shell, in broccoli, in the sunflower. And this is the way our body is created. Right from the DNA itself, these same spiral patterns, these same mm -hmm. relationships, your finger to your your hand, your hand to your elbow, your head to your navel, to your feet. All of these are divine proportions. Everything is constructed around these proportions. And these proportions relate to time as well. And to light even has a geometry. And this is what we explain in our book. So energy follows geometric patterns. Time follows geometric patterns. Our body, the planet, the sun, all of these. It's like, here's another set of geometries. Whoops, I meant this one. Where you have the diameter of the sun plus the diameter of the moon. 
and we adjust the diameter of the sun so it's in the same range as the moon, which is 10,800 miles. And all of these geometries on this page have that many degrees. Mm. So you see, what happens is we've talked about this earlier, I think even before we started, how people understand that if you want to create something in your life, you have to start to embody the feeling of it, the vibration of it. When you're vibrating at a high level, a level of gratitude, a level of joy, those are the kinds of people you bring into your life. Those are the kinds of elements you bring into your life. And if it doesn't seem like it's a positive element, you are so strong in your connection that you look for the truth within it. You look for the God spark within every action. So even though it appears that it's, oh my God, this is a setback. This is, you know, hell on wheels today because my life seems to be falling apart. You go inside to what's real and you stick with that and you work on that and you shift your perspective and what starts to happen is things on the outside shift. But it's all through resonance. And you see, that's what I mean by the sun, the moon, the stars, time over 26,000 year cycles we move through on this planet. And some of the ancient cultures, like you may have heard of the Mayan calendar um, coming to an end in 2012 and all the freak out around that. It was really just a reset. It was just they had like we do at New Year's, time for a new year. Well, it's time for a new cycle. And that's, I think, what we're starting to see now. Something new is entering the earth, entering our field. And all of this follows patterns, rhythms, cycles. And if we see this is how the universe is doing it, then maybe if we started bringing that into our life a little bit, we can fall into what's natural and what's real. And these things, the toxins, the EMFs, the fears, the stresses, the things that take us off our game, off our center, we can start to rise above them and be in a place where the negative stuff just no longer has the same effect. Yeah, I like that. You got to get rid of the negative. So this sounds great. People are listening. I'm listening. I'm in business. How can this all help my business? Well, <laughs> there's there's a number of different ways. Mm -hmm. I think, first of all, you know, what we're talking about is the recognition that the universe is here for us. It's created in incredible ways. And we're part of that. You know, we are created like one of the slides that Gregory showed. We're created in those same patterns. And so when we get back into that relationship, understanding and embodying that relationship, then we can get back on our game again. So much of what happens out there when we're stressed, when we're going through feelings that create fear or division, then... That's where that's where our consciousness goes. That's where our thoughts go, and that is very, very. Uh, that's a very big part of business. That if we're in a fear mode, then that's what we're going to receive. So I know one of the things that we did when COVID hit was our physical business was actually in our town had to close down for um, about a month and a half, and so we stopped and we went reset what can we do what is our opportunity and when we stop and look at opportunity then we're connecting for with the possibilities that exist we're getting back to understanding that creation is going to continue you know the plants are still going to grow you know all of the weather patterns are still going to work let's connect with what works rather than what doesn't work so that's one aspect. The other thing is, in, 
in all honesty, you know, what we've done over these 38 years with the information is we've developed tools and the mm. tools help people. We have people in law offices that have some of our products and they find that their clients work better. People in the healthcare industry with our products are finding that people can open up and actually heal better, relax more. Mm. You know, coming into your own home, you know, that's a place where you want to be able to ah, relax and rejuvenate. And so these energies are helping us to restore ourselves. Just like if you felt like what I really need today is to go find a great place in nature that's going to make me feel connected again. Well, we have tools that support our environments to emanate that kind of energy field. Great for people in New York City because it's hard to find <laughs> wild, you know, going out to the you know world, you're going out to big buildings and EMFs and all that. Yeah. So it's interesting that you crossed over from business to life. I like that because you have a business, your life is part of that business. Something happens at home, it's going to affect your life. If somebody's going through stress, they can use some of your tools to reduce that stress either in business or in their personal life, correct? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, like you said, it, it there there really isn't a division. And you know for yourself that what affects you in business, whether it's a positive thing that you've learned or something that's really rough on you, is going to affect every aspect of your life, including your health, right? Yeah, yeah. And health's important. And this is a big part of wellness, uh, being part of the uh, health club industry for 22 years from 78 to 2000. I wish you guys, I wish I knew you guys. Because I would definitely have your, not your book, because you didn't have a book there, but this ideology of people coming in because they use fitness for this wellness of peace, and mm -hmm. but they don't have it at the office, which is where a lot of their stress is, yeah. mm -hmm. especially if they're owner, owner, CEO, founder, and all those top level, you know, the eight to fibers have their own little different stress. Have you used this? Uh, do you use this for personal and business or is business your your target? So it sounds like you work with everybody. Absolutely. It's like, um, to be honest, it's like we, I think, often start with people that get it. They go, aha, inside. There's something more that I need. And if I try this, I mean, we offer everything with a 100% guarantee. So if someone feels it isn't working, send it back. And most people feel that it is. But when you test it in your own environment, and then these people happen to be business owners, teachers, lawyers, all kinds of, of beings, just like we all are. And then they say, oh my goodness, if this makes me feel like this in my home, if I turn on this one rotating device, in my teenage, and that's what happens. Their teenager walks in and say, oh my God, this feels different in here today. Mm -hmm. I almost, and one mother sent one device back and said, please get it back as quickly as you can because the members of my family don't fight as much when it's running. And I've had uh, one man tell me, an 80 year old man that he loved the pendant because his wife doesn't yell at him as much anymore. She overheard us and said, I don't have to. So it affected yeah. them both from their own perspectives. That's a See, great just, story. Here's another just real quick story. There was a, a gentleman who um, is a 911 dispatcher. Talk about a high stress job. Oh, and yeah. He got the pendant and he wrote back to us. He said, this is remarkable that everything changed. He was able to feel centered. He was able to feel love and compassion for the people who were calling in, who were freaked out. Yeah. So, you know, what a, what a service. <laughs> Amen. No, <laughs> really it is. is right? It really is. Um, I, how can people get a hold of you? I'm sure people resonate and want to get a spinning device in their home or the necklace. What's the best way for them to connect with you? Our website is www.iconnect.com the number two, all 
A-L-L.com. So I-C-O-N-N-E-C-T, the number two, A-L-L.com. That's our website. Our book is being sold on Amazon and um, it's already an Amazon bestseller in a number of different categories. So we're excited. It's getting the word out of what it is that we can do to be of service to everyone. And, you know, that's really the essence of, I think, everything that you're sharing is find in your heart what it is that's important to you and then be of service to all that come your way by being open about sharing yeah. that that ability and service. And remember that when we talk about service to all or for the good of all, you are part of that. So yeah. make sure as as the you were sharing with us before and to your audience, make sure that you are inclusive. You don't take yourself out of that quotient, but all means all, including ourselves. Yeah, and what Gail's talking about and what they've talked about in this show audience is the last year I've made more income than I have in 30 years because I changed my energy. Um, I did have a giving energy, but I didn't have a receiving energy. And it has to go as an infinite loop, I learned. It's got to be an infinite loop. If you know that sim symbol may be part of the sacred geometry I'm, I'm talking about, but um, it's powerful because it's changed my life and I'm changing other people's lives. And so are you, Gail and Gregory. I want to thank you for being on. This is so powerful. Such a great show. I hate to end it, but we do run out of time. Um, I want to thank everybody for listening. As I always say at the end of my show, Gregory and Gail put out a lot of information. Watch this or listen to this over again. Pick up some nuggets they talked about and reach out to them. If you have a question, they're open to that. Reach out and talk to them and, and, and let's get your energy in line and get you positive. Don't forget about my TV show every Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern on Apple TV and all the other streaming services. And I want to... Thank you for listening and be aware, comment on YouTube when you see this out, put a comment in there, talk about how great they are, write a little review on our, our podcast. We'd love that because you know what? It helps my guest who I love dearly. We'll see you all in the next episode of Doing Business with a Servant's Heart.